What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today I wanted to show you the next top 10 iOS 9 Cydia tweaks, making this part two. So of course in these videos, I'm gonna be showing you new and updated iOS tweaks that help enhance your device, both look-wise and functionality. Tweaking is what jailbreaking is all about, and it's always exciting to learn about new Cydia tweaks. So in order to do this, of course, you guys do need to be jailbroken and you will need some custom sources. There are a lot of tweaks in here that do require those. And of course, everything you need will be right there or down below in the description. So make sure to go there and find the full tweak list, the wallpaper I'm using, and even some bonus tweaks. All right, so starting off, probably one of the best and most favorite Cydia tweak I've used, and it's absolutely free, is CC settings. So the ability to customize the toggles over here in the control center, absolutely free. And it does change the look of it ever so slightly, so the icons are are a little bit more modern, you know, updated slightly. So you can now slide and get tons upon tons of new toggles in here, and it really does help enhance your iOS experience. So pretty much, you know, some of the things you can do here besides the standard are low power mode. The ability to toggle it from here is really convenient. Instead of having to go into settings just to toggle this one little thing right there. You can actually use that as a home button. You can actually take screenshots in here as well. and. If you have VPN set up, go to the custom VPN server. This right here, vibration for ring on and off. There's so many features to explore in here and it's so cool. Personal hotspot if you want to enable that from there if you got it set up. You can kill the entire background applications using this right here. You can disable just LTE right there. And right here, you can clear app badges. So it is so cool the amount of things you can do in here. Not only that, you can power off, reboot your device, or respring it using these toggles. So it really is ultimately useful. There are so many useful toggles in here. Now, if we actually go into the settings, you guys can choose how many toggles appear per line. So right now we have five, right? Well, we can put it to four, or if that's uh, too spaced out, put it to six. I really do like six, but five keeps it cleaner. In here is where you pretty much organize everything. So some things that you might not need are the LTE one right here, do not include, remove them. VPN, I never use that, so put it down here. And if you guys actually wanna reorganize what's available on the first line, you can do so here. So low power mode, I'm definitely gonna be using that. Put it right there, location services, not so much. Bluetooth, of course, so organize it how you like. Changes are instant, and it's really freaking cool. The ability to get more toggles in Control Center, absolutely free using CC settings. Now, one of iOS 9's biggest vices is Spotlight. It really does slow down your device. The stutter is apparent on almost every single device, and it's just all around a feature many of us could live without. Fortunately, in the stock settings, you could just disable a lot of the search functions, but it won't disable it entirely. Now, using this tweak, you guys can completely remove the spotlight search both Siri and regular search from your actual home screen and that tweak is called spotlight be gone so after installing it you'll notice that there will no longer be any sort of spotlight search uh, both Siri and regular search and it helps speed up your device a lot it really is noticeable all right so now when you try and slide over there's absolutely nothing no response and same thing you cannot slide down so not only does that help prevent many graphical glitches the speed of your device is a lot sharper I mean you don't have to worry about loading this this stuff or accidentally dragging it down, activating spotlight, you know, just removes them. And you'll notice a night and day difference, especially on older devices. I would recommend, even if you don't want it, just download it, try it. You might be tempted by these speed gains, especially on older devices. So spotlight be gone, definitely useful for speeding up your device and making the experience cleaner on iOS 9. What you guys are seeing here, this is nude keys. So it's been updated for iOS 9 support and it's probably one of my favorite keyboard tweaks in general because it really gives it a nice effect. Now, depending on which colors you choose, you get varying effects, of course. I chose uh, light blue for the top and on the bottom, like a purplish, and it filters the colors from a darker to lighter or however you set it and it gives you this really beautiful effect. And by the way, the previews pop up with the same color format. It looks very, very nice. Like it's a very unique keyboard. So if we go into the settings, this is what the actual picture looks like. It's nice. You can enable two things here. First off the color, of course, and then there's dark keyboard. I'll get to that in a sec. So anyways, over here, here's the top color. You can select it from these presets or go to hex and enter a hex color, but let's go ahead and choose a red up here and on the bottom, you can actually change how uh, intense you want the color to be. On the bottom right here, let's go ahead and choose a bluish. If we go back into the keyboard, there you go. So 
kind of like a Pokemon Ruby Sapphire mix going on here. <laughs> it looks great. And with different color settings, you can get different effects. If I turn on dark keyboard, there you go. That's what you're going to get with just the dark keyboard. Overall, definitely would recommend a very beautiful way to enhance your keyboard, make it look really nice with varying color effects. So here are the first two 3D touch compatible tweaks. And I got to say, it's a great start. So first off, here's Cuttlefish. Cuttlefish actually changes the blur in the background, depending on the color of the application you're 3D touching. So let me go ahead and do Snapchat. You'll notice there's a yellowish effect and it looks really cool. Here's Netflix, kind of a white with red, the App Store blue, and I gotta say it looks great. So really cool stuff. And uh, Cuttlefish pretty much just changes the colors, makes the effect look a little bit cooler while using it. So everything is not just the same. Definitely would recommend. Now the second one, it's actually a little bit more useful. So it adds functionality to areas where there was no 3D touch functionality. For example, Cydia, you now get this option right here, option to add a source, which isn't much, but it's a start. Now, if you go to settings, you get these toggles right here. You can easily go into safe mode, power your device off, respring, or completely reboot. Just having that so conveniently placed right there is really cool. Don't be surprised if you see this in a future version of iOS. Now it also adds some options as well to weather. So you get the quick preview of your weather in the area and you'll actually get an option for stocks as well. Whichever ones you're monitoring, it'll show up here and the conversion. So really cool stuff. So pretty much it'll add some shortcuts to areas where it previously didn't exist. So definitely really cool. Two new 3D touch tweaks. All right, you guys may have noticed my dock. It's looking a little bit different. And this is because of dock shift. Apply effects to your dock to make it look a little cleaner, a little bit more suited to your tastes. And there is a choice of 12 effects. And this is a really simple little tweak. So in here you have two sections. One style is just regular and another is for landscape view. But let's go ahead and go into regular and let's choose between them. This is a little bit more blurred version, less opaque, and let's go into blurred, most blurry. So it'll blur the color. This is a really bad background to do it on. It just makes it really red, but you can have a blurry in between and a lot cleaner of a look. So this completely removes the dock, making it really flush. So pretty much just some light themes for your dock. Pretty cool. I like to keep it on milk, glass, opaque. It's the coolest look for me. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a couple brand new City of Tweaks just released and they're actually game changers. I really, really like this. Apple should have added this to iOS a long time ago. The first one, incognito messages. So just like the name suggests, you can actually browse messages for certain people without actually giving them a read tag. So let me go ahead and send a message. Actually, I just did to this guy. So this is my phone on the very top right here. So you guys can actually read the message and go back out without letting the other person know you read it while enabling it for other people. So if it's a certain person, you don't want to know you read the message, but you don't want to disable the whole feature for everybody, incognito messages is perfect. But if you do want them to know you read the message, all you guys got to do is start typing on the keyboard and immediately you should get a red over here. So really, really brilliant. Apple should give you the decision to choose who gets to see if you read their messages or not, not just one for all, you know, it's really great that you have this feature. Now when downloading, it's absolutely free. You guys just have to enable these two right here. So you guys can actually hide if you want to type for certain people, or if you want to hide the send receipt for certain people until you start getting into the keyboard and type really really brilliant idea props to the developer incognito messages all right so this next one is called face down this is a feature a lot of Androids have and it's really cool I mean it's uh it's pretty useful so pretty much lock your device just by setting it down like that boom it's locked so just set it down and that's it. So this doesn't actually use the sensor. This just uses either the gyroscope or accelerometer to know when your device is in this position. And when it stays there, it'll lock. So you can actually just flip it down. It doesn't go on accident unless you hold it there. Just like that. Really useful actually. And you guys may have noticed my device makes noise when unlocking just like that. That hasn't been available forever. So that's called unlock sounds and it brings unlocking sounds to your device. And there are a lot of settings in here for it. So you can get a lot of sounds and test them in here. You can choose from several in here, camera, shutter, SMS alert. And that sounds actually pretty cool. Awesome. So pretty much, and you can set the volume in here to have a custom volume if that's too loud or too quiet for you. Really cool. Just enable unlocking sounds 
when unlocking your device. And there's a lot to choose from. And lastly, Spin has been updated for iOS 9. So now you can get a custom music player interface when playing music from the lock screen. So it looks just like this. And I know that looks annoying, but you can get rid of that in the settings. So pretty much a custom interface for playing music. This is the scrubber, it goes all the way around. Really cool. The play pause button is actually broken right now. So it's gonna be fixed in a future update, but you know, you can actually adjust the size of the controls, the positioning. There's a lot of settings, but it's a really clean look for your iOS lock screen. So guys, that's just about it. Those are some pretty awesome tweaks, the 3D touch, the messages incognito. I really like where uh, all the tweaks are going. You know, developers are becoming more and more creative. And as a result, we're getting more and more impressive Cydia tweaks. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll be having many more of these coming soon as more Cydia tweaks are emerging. I just don't want to be rehashing all old tweaks over and over. It's always exciting when we get new stuff, right? Do you hope you enjoy these? Do you hope many of these worked? Again, if you guys do get an unresponsive device like Cydia won't open or your device won't boot, all you guys have to do is hold power and home if it's unresponsive or just turn your device off if Cydia is not working hold the volume up button and then power it on. And then go into Cydia and remove whatever caused that issue to arise. But enjoy all of these tweaks. Have a great day guys and stay tuned for any new Cydia tweaks or videos in general. Peace.